I love talking to people. I love um, being on the mic. I always have, but I've never felt like I was particularly gifted at being eloquent or, you know, I, I can speak, but I don't always have the best word to use or, you know, especially when you're on the stage and the bright lights are there, you know, it's like you might even have something written out. Um, but it's like it goes down the drain sometimes if things change mm. um, during a live setting or if you freeze up or whatever the case is like. But to me, your energy, mm. they'll feel it. There's a huge difference between being nervous for an interview and unprepared and nervous and prepared. You know, you can fumble words, but if mm -hmm. people people will know if you're prepared and you've really put in your time and effort, but and you're you know, just a little nervous. You'll, you'll, and you you may like fumble this or fumble that, but like if you're prepared, there's a huge difference okay. between if you're unprepared. Meaning that like it'll show your energy will show your it, it, and you'll be fine. So you aren't going to be perfect. I mean, whatever that word means, but you're not going to mm -hmm. be perfect. But if you're prepared, if you care, which really was what that means, if you have that energy. Um, then everything will be okay. And I think, you know, bringing a full circle, that's how I feel about the words and, you know, specifically like these key trigger point words. And I am big on language. Like I said, I don't, there's words I do not like to use. Yeah. And I would say like, I mean, I'm a little bit of a contradiction. I mean, a lot of great uh, philosophers, you know, people are contradictions. Tupac's a huge contradiction. Yeah. A lot of, you know, so maybe I am just absolutely contradicting myself. That could very but, well. I mean, yeah. that very well could be true. Though. That very well could be true because I don't <laughs> use the word as much as I did, and I don't. Because, but that's to me like I just don't prefer to do it, and, I, and yeah. it's like, and I, and it's like, but there are certain scenarios, scenarios like you know, trap our LA. We were down there. I'm sure I used the word at some point, like mm -hmm. you know, listen to songs, rapping, or whatever the case is, like yeah. because of the environment I was with, and because of like you know the the vibe I was on, um, given you know our culture and how we can you know adapt and move like that. So at the end of the day. Um, I respect your opinion, though, and I respect, you know, I think at the end of the day, like I was saying about the uh, gender neutral stance as well, it's like, if you know it's going to offend somebody who you're with, I mean, and if it's not, you know, changing your fabric as a person to, to, to you know, to, their, yeah, to just you know, like just... not use a word or to, you know, like, then like, let's, it's, I mean, just, it's just all good. It. Like, it just, yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's like, if it's not, if it's not going to fundamentally, like, you know change who you feel like you are as a person and like mm -hmm. attack your sensibilities then like it's not a big deal you know but that's basically how i <laughs> feel I about agree it all completely so. i always feel like if you don't as long as you're not breaking your back to hurt others you should always do it right. like i mean don't like i said like don't do it if you can't but right. if you can it's not gonna hurt you just do what you can to make other people smile or like just not make their life hard right makes sense to me so i guess i could say like um law of attraction is definitely something that i'm most focused on at this point in my life because uh, it's worked for me so well that like, like we said with the alchemists like whatever you put your mind the to the universe will conspire in helping you achieve that thing so um once i learned that you know things have gone amazing so i'm kind of hoping in 2019 i'm able to like bring things to fruition and see what I can do for myself because I don't let's, let's take it a step further let's manifest is there anything more specific that you are looking to put your energy towards and like bring towards you is there something that you're like wanting to get that you need to affirm into the world right now because it's only going to happen if you put if you put it out there yeah I'm building an empire and I'm giving all of my friends jobs so they never have to work a day in their life <laughs> wow that's what I'm doing and I'm gonna like I want to make sure that my family back home is good. Like, and I'm not saying I want to. I'm saying I will. So, yeah, I'm affirming that in the next, hopefully, year or two, I'll be um, making power moves. Hey, you're on the road right now. That's that's what it Thanks. is. Hopefully, this interview, just like you said, the uh, first uh, trap art event that you modeled that um, exact you know, changed my some, life. <laughs> made some changes. I would like to hope that uh, this interview could do the same thing because that's what it's about, just giving um, artists, people, um, you know, dope individuals like yourself the opportunity to express, you know, yourself. And I, I hope that 
now when people see you or wherever they see you at or whether they're just going to your Instagram, which is popping now, um, yes. that they can see a little bit more context and like who you are, what you think and what you're all about. Um, so that's what it's all about. So once again, um, this is Trap Art. Make sure you give us a follow at Trap X Art um, and stay tuned. We got a lot of dope content coming. We're going to keep hitting you with it. And uh, once again, I appreciate you for being yeah. on. Of course. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Lit. Absolutely. <laughs>